Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. I'm cracking through a series where I'm leading you step by step through the ABRSM theory grades. And we're currently working through ABRSM Music Theory and Practice Grade 1. There are loads of resources available to help you on my website if you visit SharonBill.com. There are some free PDF information sheets that I'll be referring to. They're available in US letter A4 to accompany each step of this series. There's also a page which links to all of my YouTube video tutorials. And you can also access information about the books I have available. I have a book, How to Take Your ABRSM Music Theory Exam, Grades 1, 2 and 3. Grades 4 and 5 will be available soon. And uh, this gives you lots of hints and techniques how to best make use of your exam time, which is ultimately what we're working through and working towards here with the grade one. And so now we're continuing with the major scales. So if you find your PDF download and refer to sheet L once again, we're going to be returning to the subject of major scales. And then we'll turn to page 17 in your workbook. Again, you can also access some information demonstrating the construction of the major scale. If you look at the links in the cards and in the description, you can find the YouTube video where I demonstrate how to construct the major scale on the piano keyboard too, which is helpful, I find. And so let's crack on with the scales of C major, G major, D major and F major. Remembering that a scale is made up of a series of tones and semitones. So we have tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. And in order to construct that pattern of tones and semitones starting on the various different keys, we have to add various sharps and flats to make that pattern exist. And so we need to remember that C major has no sharps or flats, G major has F sharps, D major has F sharps and C sharps and F major has B flats and we can either add those as a key signature at the beginning of the music which means that therefore say for example in G major there's a key signature of F sharps and that means all sharps all F's are sharpened throughout the whole piece or we can add them as accidentals as and when we need them depending what the question requires. So it's literally just applying this set of information in different ways as the questions demand. So we're continuing with exercise 4 on page 17 of your workbook. And this asks us to add the clefs, so there's part 1 of the question and the key signatures, that's part two of the question, needed to make these scales correct. So if I work through this first one with you, now F major of course must begin and end on F, and so in order for that to be note F we have to use the correct clef, which is the treble clef. If you add a bass clef that will be incorrect because that would be note A, which is inappropriate, and so we need to add the correct clef, so we need a treble clef to begin with, Oh, that went a bit wonky, never mind. And then the second part of the question is to add a key signature. Now if we just refer back to this sheet, you will need to learn these. The sheet's there to help you, but ultimately you need to remember these. F major has a key signature of B flat and it's written in a specific place on this stave. In the treble clef, every good boy, it's that middle line. And so we need to add the key signature. Every good boy, there's our B flat. And if you'll notice the order of events at the beginning of a piece of music, it goes clef, then it's your key signature, then it's your time signature. So actually it goes in alphabetical order just by coincidence. So that's the order in which you need to follow. So have a go at exercise four, have a go at these remaining three questions. It's not a lot of work to do. Remember, they're asking for the clef and the key signature. Refer to the sheet that I've made available to you to help you be sure of your key signatures and just be careful of your placement of the key signatures in regard to the clef that you've chosen. So press pause, grab your pencil, have a go, and then we'll go through that together. 
And so I'm presuming you've had a little go of that yourself. And so let's go through these together now. Do always try it yourself. It's always best to make a few mistakes if that's the way it goes. We can always grab an eraser and try again. It's always better to learn by your mistakes. If you just copy it with me all the time, it won't quite sink in so well. Okay, so here we're asked to create this scale and make it C major. And so, of course, C major must begin and end on C. Now, this is C in the bass clef, all cows. And here, if you remember, this is our C, which is at the top of the bass clef, which meets at the bottom of the treble clef. You can also double check because you know it goes, good boys deserve football, always A, B, C. And so we need a bass clef. Just watch your positioning of that. And then it asks for a key signature. Now, actually, our job's already done because C major has no sharps or flats, so it has a key signature of nothing. And so that one's now complete. The next one asks us to make the key of D major. So in order for this to be D major, we need it to begin and end on D, and that makes this the treble clef every good boy deserves. So first of all, we need a treble clef. And then we need a key signature of F sharps and C sharps. Watch the placement of those. Every good boy deserves football, F, A, C. Okay, and the last one is G major. And so in order for this to be G, we need this to be a bass clef. And then our key signature is one sharp, F sharps, good boys deserve football, which we place there. It's as simple as that. Job done. Okay, let's move on to exercise five. A little bit more work involved in this one, but it's only using the same information. The question asks us to write out these scales using the rhythm shown on this line above and to add the correct key signature. So we've got quite a bit of work to do here. So I, I'll work through this first one with you and I'll just show you a, a suggested practice and how to work through this methodically. First of all, I'd sort of get all your lines in place and I would keep all of your bar lines aligned with their example because that way if you keep all your notes aligned you're not going to lose track of where you are. Okay, so... This, they've asked us the key signature, although that comes at the end of the question, might as well do that first because it becomes at the first part of the music. So G major has a key signature of F sharps, every good boy deserves football. So it's clef, key signature, then time signature. Now before we do any other thinking, let's just get our note heads in place. Now it's asking for a descending scale we're going to come downwards. So we need to start as high as possible so we can come down in step and we won't need ledger lines. So we know it goes every good boy deserves football. F is the top line so let's start with this G and we'll just do the note heads. And so it should come down in step, space, line, space, line, space, line, space, line, copying their note value so it fits the time signature. And we should have ended on a G every good. If we haven't, it means you've gone wrong somewhere here and you just need to backtrack and find out where that's gone wrong. Now we need to think about the stems. Remember that the middle line is the deciding factor of whether the stems come down or go up. So to begin with, we're way above the middle line, so the stems are going to just keep coming down. Now we're at the middle line, we can choose either way. After the middle line, of course, the stem's got to go up. So this middle line here, the note B, could go either way. I'm going to opt to go stem up, just because then this poor little one won't be on its own with a stem going up. But it doesn't matter either way. And so actually now we've completed that question because we've used the key signature, we followed the rhythm, We've got our scale in step coming downwards and we've got our stems correctly drawn. So if you just follow it stage by stage, it's quite simple to complete. Just don't try and deal with everything all in one sitting. Okay, so I shall leave you to have a go at these remaining two questions. 
So press pause, grab your pencil, have a go, and then we'll come back to it together. So I'm assuming that you've continued and completed these two questions, so let's work through them together now and double check that everything's correct. So if you get your bar lines placed, so F major has a key signature of B flat, so we'll pop that in straight away. Good boy, second line up, time signature. Now we're ascending, so we need to start low and go high, because we're going upwards, just a matter of reading the question carefully. So if this bottom line is G, good boys, this one is going to be F. So I'm gonna do my note heads first of all. Space line, space line, space, line, space, line. Okay, and then put the dot on the end to make the dotted minim with the dotted half note. Okay, so now I've just got to think about the stem. So the stems go up on the right to begin with. This one can go either way, so I'm just gonna turn it around to just feel like having a change. And there we go, that's complete. We've got the key signature, we've copied the rhythm, we've got our stems, and if you make sure good boys is a football, we've definitely begun and ended on F. Space line, space line, space line, space line, so we know we've not gone off. Okay, and the last one, just shorter bars, so we need a few more bar lines going on here. Now C major ascending going up. C major has no sharps or flats, so actually there's no key signature to worry about there. We just need our time signature, and I'm going to begin on all cows this low C here. And I'm keeping my notes pretty much aligned with theirs, so I don't lose track where I've got to. If you squish them all up, you lose track of which ones you've done and which ones you haven't. It's hard to follow. So we need a ledger line for this final because we've gone line, space, and so now we need a ledger line, and that's the C that we've ended on at the top of the base clef. So we need a dot there. We've done the dot there. Okay, so we've just got to worry about the stems now. So stems up for here. This one can go either way. That's a quaver. Now the stems must come down. There we go, and that's that completed. Fab, that's the end of that one. So we'll leave that for today and we'll look at the last section of this um, part of major scales within the grade one syllabus for next video. I hope that's been helpful to you. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed that, if you can give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be sure not to miss out on all the great things I've got in store please do go to SharonBill.com. There's loads of resource there to help you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.